guys, Movie Nerd here, and let's talk about Atypical. Now, Atypical is a Netflix show which focuses on a character named Sam, an 18-year-old on the autism spectrum, who decides it's time to find a girlfriend, a journey that sets Sam's mom and her own life-changing path as her son seeks more independence and, of course, who seeks more, not just independence, but also trying to fit in or trying to get out more into the world. And I think that this show really illustrates a lot when it comes into people struggling to communicate people who are on the autism spectrum. And I knew someone who was autistic. And of course, this show does have, there's moments where you can say, I can relate to that or I can see that you know, happening in real life. So there's a lot this show does display and it's truly hilarious. This show really does illustrate and displays a lot when it comes into the struggles not just as teenagers going to ask or seeking help from their parents but also parents trying to communicate with their children and of course a lot when it comes into supporting someone being there for someone this show really does illustrate a lot of that and under eight episodes i think it's worth watching it is one of the funniest shows i've seen right now on netflix and i'm truly happy that this show is out there because this show really does not just display a lot of heart, but also displays a lot of powerful scenes, powerful moments with the actors. Michael Rappaport really gives a great performance because you see him as a struggling parent trying to communicate not just with his, with his son, Sam, but then Sam slowly and gradually starts to be closer to his father. And I think that this show really does illustrate a lot when it comes into the father-son dynamic, but of course the mother and daughter dynamic too. Jennifer Jason Lee plays Sam's mother in this show, and this show really does bring a lot of funny moments with her, with Sam, with Michael Rappaport. It is a funny show altogether, but also has a lot of dramatic moments, and the moments are there, not feeling out of place. It is a show that is definitely worth watching and I really hope that season two comes around and we will get to explore more of these characters and flesh out more character development, put in more layers with these characters and really understand more where they're coming from and I'm going to give Atypical an A. So guys, what did you think of Atypical? Did you see it? What other Netflix shows do you guys recommend me to watch? I really want to see more of these Netflix shows. I have a whole bunch of shows I need to catch up with too. I've been trying to catch up with TV and movies. So yeah, please sound off below. What are, your, what are some of your Netflix recommendations? I want to see all you guys' thoughts and list them down below. I can't wait to hear from you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching and peace out.